Hi everybody, this is our getting started video for Sinai Scatter. So first thing that you're going to need to do is create yourself a scatter. You're going to find that in the control panel under Create Geometry and you're going to need to scroll down to Sinai Software and you'll find our four object plugins here. So we will create a scatter and let's just go open all this up here so we can see all our windows. The first thing that we need to remember to do with scatter is pick an object to scatter on. So the very first thing that we're going to need to do is press this button under distributed mesh and pick an object to scatter on. Now the next thing that you're going to need to do in scatter before you do anything else is pick some objects to scatter. That can be done through the multiple pick window which will pick a select object by name or you can do this with the individual picker. So we're just going to use the individual picker here. We're going to pick some grass, some clover, and some weeds. All right, so we will, let's just open up all these, open all, and we will walk through a couple of these dialogues here real quick. So the first thing that you're going to see is you have a stats window, and this is going to basically give you an object count, uh, a poly count, vertex count, and fill you in whether you're using acceleration or not. Right now, the only acceleration we have in is for V-Ray at the moment, and we are also working on V-Ray R2, but Corona is coming soon. Our next window is our distributed mesh window. This is where you kick, pick your surface to scatter on. Uh, next down here is your display types. So you can go display as dots or bounding box or whatever you would like. Pyramid mode is going to be your most effective and uh, will give you the quickest feedback. Uh, next down in here, you'll have the amount of objects that you'd like to scatter. This is an animatable. And then you have your update controls here. So we have our select all. So if you're going to go select everything in your scatter to save selected, that would do that for you. Update geometry, update objects will update any of the textures that you would have on your objects themselves or, or if you made a geometry change in your texture. Uh, update all and reseed will do the same thing but completely update everything in your objects, so even your base objects geometry if you were to change that. Scatter is uh, a plugin that you texture your objects themselves that you're going to scatter. You don't throw a texture on the scatter itself. All right, our next tab is our distributed objects tab, which is where we added our initial scattered objects. Underneath here, you're going to find that there is a global for all objects, which gives you a uh, transformation for all objects and a global distribution map. Underneath each individual object you are also going to have its individual transformation and you can actually change its own map for each object to distribute objects upon. So we have a overall scatter on the overall objects is using a fractal, fractal 3. Our grass, we picked fractal 1. And clover, let's just go pick fractal 2. Uh, so you can definitely scatter these things around, but by default, everything's going to use your global objects unless you change them. Next is our painting window. Our painting window will paint single objects, and as soon as you're done painting, they will turn into our single mesh. If you have nothing selected or everything selected, it's painting all of those. You can do an individual paint. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is if you're painting on a surface and they do not seem to be paint, check the normals of your distributed objects. The normals might be flipped, and it won't let you paint on the back side of an object. We have a multiple object brush, which will paint multiple objects at a time. And then we have our erase brush. Now our erase brush is the same as a painting brush. If you have everything selected or nothing selected, it'll erase everything. If you just have one object selected, it'll just erase that object that you have selected. So it's a selective uh, paint and erase brush. Our distributed maps, this is simply just where you would load an additional map. 
you do not use this to distribute your objects. They are in the distributed object tab where you click the, your map. This is actually a basic way to display what different types of maps you're, you, you have in your scene that you can scatter on or you can actually load your own in here like a noise map or your own bitmap and then use them on your object. We have a our color shift. So this is our uh, color and texture variation area. So you can add a hue shift, saturation, brightness, or contrast. This can also be filtered by textured names. And that's the name of the material, not the name of the bitmap that you're loading in. Uh, we have exclusion splines. So right now I do have an exclusion spline. So you just enable that and you would go pick the spline that's in your scene and it will exclude that out of your scatter. Uh, we have our camera clipping. So you can actually uh, pick a camera in your scene and use expansion. So it's going to create the objects that are just outside of the view of your camera so you're not losing any shadows. And then finally we have an export tab. I would recommend you guys going through uh, a lot of these videos themselves. There'll be some more detailed videos on each rollout. And if you have any other questions, please post them in the forum. Thanks a lot.